Hi, I'm Jen Anderson with Jen's Guiltless Gourmet, and I'm here at the Natural Products Expo West, where thousands of companies from all over the world gather to showcase the latest and greatest in natural products. We're going to meet with leading innovators, fantastic companies about organic farming, sustainable living, and see what great products are coming our way for 2012. Thai sweet chili pop chips. Thinberry Sandy from Rainbow Light. Eden Organic has an incredible line of organic beans and they're in BPA free cans. Hi, I'm Jen Anderson with Jen's Guiltless Gourmet and I'm here today at the Natural Products Expo West and I'm talking to Samantha Cabaluna from Earthbound Farm. How are you doing today? I'm great. It's so good to have you here in the booth. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I love your product. I use your salads all the time and I'd love to know more about the Earthbound Farm story. How did you get started? What is your philosophy? Absolutely. Well. Earthbound Farm was founded by Drew and Myra Goodman about 28 years ago on a little two and a half acre backyard garden in Carmel Valley, California. Started with some raspberries and they were kids who had grown up in New York City and, and didn't weren't really connected to how food was produced other than they got it at the grocery store. And when they, they got this little garden, uh, the, the guy who had farmed it before, came over and showed them how to grow these raspberries and it was with chemicals and here's the schedule of the chemical application and here's the shed and it smelled like chemicals and they just had this oh my god this must be how food is produced and we don't want any part of it we've got to find a better way to do that that was 1984 so they had been washing and bagging greens for themselves and they thought well they always thought that would be a great idea, and they were really the first people to put salad in a bag. So, um, so that is a fabulous story, and and it's so interesting to hear that shock of of the chemicals that are used in so much of our food production. And there really is a schedule. There's chemicals to fertilize. There's chemicals that are pesticides. There's chemicals that, that are root stimulators. And, and just the level of chemical that's used in farming can really be astounding, especially if people aren't familiar with it. And I think that's something that we're really trying to educate people about, um, to learn like what is the importance of organic and, and what does that really mean? And sometimes we think just by washing our vegetables, it's enough, but sometimes those chemicals they, they, they really pervade through everything. They do, and you know, we have a lot of farmers who farm with us who've been organic all along, and we've also got some farmers who started out as conventional farmers, and one of our uh, main farmers, he tells a great story about how when he was farming conventionally, he would, he would go home after work, and his little girls would want to run up and give him a big hug, and he said, no, 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 you cannot come near daddy till after I've taken off my clothes, I've had a shower, I've gotten all this stuff off of me, and now, ever since he's been an organic farmer for many years now, and he said, you know, his girls come right up and give him a hug right after, now they're in college now, but, you know, back back in the day, they once he made the switch, he was very comfortable with them coming up and giving him a big hug as soon as he got home from work. You know, my mom grew up on a big farm in Minnesota, and they used to run behind the crop dusters as the planes were spraying the chemicals. And it's just, you know, oh, all of that getting into our system. You know, the long-term ramifications we're just starting to learn more about. So, so I'd love to talk to you about what new products you have coming out. What are you excited about? What can we look for in the stores? Absolutely, and and it's all organic, right? It all tastes delicious. It's always fresh and nutritious, because we're talking about produce here. So, um, so some of our new products are our baby kale, which I, I, which is absolutely wonderful. Mixed baby kales. Um, I think a lot of people are interested in these heartier, healthier greens now. Um, but I, I know that people also can get a little intimidated by what do I do with that big bunch of kale? What do I do with or what do I do with kale? Period. Some people just don't know. And now kale can be sautéed. It can be eaten raw in salads. It can be juiced. And a little quick cooking tip: if you're going to eat it raw in a salad, apply the salad dressing like 15 to 20 minutes before. It will soften the leaves a little bit, but they'll still be crunchy. And I'll put a great kale recipe up online that that uh, so you have a couple ways to use kale. 
Power Greens. Also, along the same lines, we've got we got baby kale in here with baby spinach and baby chard. Another hearty, healthy batch of greens. And then what also excites me as I'm looking is seeing organic chili pepper, organic basil, ginger, cilantro, garlic, dill, like all these wonderful, looks like herbs that you have. That's right, ways to, ways to make your meal taste even better if you don't have that bunch of organic basil or even conventional basil sitting in your, in your, um, sitting in your little uh, drawer, you can, you can have this sitting in your refrigerator. Just do that squeeze and there you are. Well, how fabulous and that's, that's a great time saver and it's a great way to keep fresh herbs in your fridge that have a longer shelf life. So, you know, thank you so much, so much for Thanks meeting so with much us. Thanks for coming by, Jenna.